chip's really wet here. It's out. It sounds small. Right in here. Find small stuff just to quill the half, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jeez, that was pretty deep there for a little target there. I'm in high frequency here. Multi-frequency. There's a big old hornet flying around here. Okay, stand up here, not get my head smashed in. So that was small. Oops. My detector's way too long there. Okay. like a hairpin or something. I'm just coming into 28 here. Very low. Yeah, it's a little bit of iron here. Is, it is a earring back right there. See that? See that? This this uh, high frequency coil really finds the small stuff, but you know, it's iron. All right, little earring back there. I have found a lot of earring backs with this HF2 coil. A lot of them, boy. And they are so hard to find, man. Uh, most of them have been brass. I'm having negative three silencer here. Very high gain, very high sensitivity. 94, 95, 96 sensitivity, I don't know. High, very high sensitivity. Gotta watch my head here. Some iron here. Got some iron. Briar, screamer. This top lot's been loaded all day long completely loaded with kids. I haven't been able to get in here. Little truck to a skateboard. So look at this. Look at this post right here. This post is a very high conductor. And what's happening in here is when I get close to this post here, it's turning to ground. See? See this? Put it in the lower frequencies here. I'm in the high frequencies right now. 53 kilohertz, multi-frequency. Here's 29. See that? It overloads on that detect on that big post there. So what's happening is the high frequencies has a tendency to lift those higher conductive targets, extremely higher conductive targets, like 99, uh, a big piece of aluminum or a, a very high conductive target, it it wraps it around to the, so I'll show you. The conductive scale is not linear. It's not a line like this, right? It's not negative 
it's like this. It's a circle right here. See this? It's a circle. The conductive is circle on all metal detectors. So you got zero or negative 6.4 right here, zero right here, 50 right here, and 99 right here. So in high frequencies, in, only in the high frequencies, uh, even in the single frequency, you, you can really tell with a uh, single frequency, if you lower frequencies, the lower frequency will overload on this and not wrap it around there because it's not lifting it above 99 to negative 6.4. If you look at the, if you look at it right here, I'm in the lower frequencies here, okay? Multi-frequency. Let's read that 99 right there, right? I'll just, I'll give the big number here, you guys. There's numbers, guys. Oh, there's a, there's a bumblebee. Oh, oops, screwed him up. See, 99 right here. Now watch, I'll put it in the higher frequencies, right here. 89 kilohertz. Watch, it'll be zero. See? It turns out to zero. It's actually negative 6.4 because it doesn't read negative numbers on this detector. You don't get negative IDs. But that's how it works with all metal detectors. You know, the conductivity scale is on, uh, it's, it's in a circle rather than linear, right? And it just wrapped around, wrapped, it went right around to 99 and went right back over to negative 6.4. That's why it's calling this reject tone there. If I drop my iron volume down to zero, I wouldn't be able to hear that because it's ground. It's just turning it into ground there. And, and I have my ground rejected, but my iron volume is high here. So I'm discriminated to 28, but my iron volume is up high. So I'm gonna hear that, that, um, that ground tone very strong when I have my iron tone up. I can also, if I'm in single frequency, I can drop my uh, my ground balance down and do the same thing here, you know, or uh, as the, the lower frequencies. You know, if, if I raise my ground balance, if I, if I was able to adjust my ground balance manually in multi-frequency, I could go up with, with that and reject that to ground, right? But I don't want to do that. I don't want to um, accept that post there. I, I want to be... I want to be rejecting it, right? I want to be able to get close to that. And I'm in higher frequencies anyway, right? Right here, right here. There's something right here. There's something right in here. It's a hairpin. Right there, hairpin. See that? Right next to the post. Iron hairpin. But unfortunately, it does not do that to the steel posts, the iron posts, watch. See, still is gonna overload on them, right? <laughs> if the engineers can figure that out, how to wrap that around, the iron post around, that would be crazy. But there's, there's just no way you can exploit that feature um, to it. Because the posts read up all different numbers. I'm getting iron tones on this post here too. Not with this one. Right? That's aluminum, super high conductor. This iron is a lower conductor. Even though it's reading up high numbers, I'm still getting um, those iron tones in it, right? Right there, see, look at the difference. Smaller. How about these little targets here? It's foil here. I'm discriminated to 28 here, so it's gonna be hot on the foil. Very hot on those tiny little targets that take forever to find. But oh, some foil here. So this foil is partially discriminated out. There's some iron right here too, another hairpin. Foil and a hairpin. I just tend to find a lot of hairpin. I call this the top, the hairpin tot lot. I've just found hundreds of them throughout the years in this playground, hundreds of them. Especially when I got the Deus 2, I was really finding a lot of them. This, this detector just loves hairpins, just for some reason. That of any other machine I've ever owned, this detector just loves those hairpins, man.
Another hairpin here? Probably. Just wouldn't doubt it. I haven't hunted this playground in a while, so there's gonna be a lot of hairpins. Would not doubt it. Hairpin time. Oh, 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 it's a chain. It's a chain right there, look at that. Look at how long that's been in there. Look at this. It's a chain right here, see this? Right there, man. It's iron, it's probably iron, it just sounded like iron. Right. It's iron. See that? Right there. Right there. And I wanna be high sensitivity um, on those really tiny targets, like that, that chain and that, that, um, that earring back. I wanna be really sensitive to those targets. So I wanna, my sensitivity's gotta be up high, right? With this small coil, I can go up as high as I want. All right. I have other feature, I have other settings that I can drop my sensitivity down, my, or my gain down, my odd response, or just go to different frequency. See anything like that? See, now watch. I'll put, I don't think I have any coins in my bag. I haven't found any coins yet today, so I'll put, <laughs> I don't even have any coins in there. I'll put some foil here. I know I have some foil here. I was just picking up some foil there a minute ago. If I can find the foil in my bag there. Put this foil right here. Right, here. right there. See, watch. Right here. You watch. If I were in the lower frequencies, I would not be able to hit that because I would overload on this post here in the lower frequencies. Because the lower frequencies are hot on those large items, the higher frequencies are not. But there's advantages and disadvantages to running higher frequencies in playgrounds. You know, it's not gonna go nearly as deep on the, the higher conductive coins. But if you wanna clear a tot lot out and find small jewelry like that, what I just found, that's the way to go, man. I really like the higher frequencies in playgrounds anyway. It's just because it responds to targets, a, a broad range of targets, and it responds to the pipes a lot better. The posts, because you got different size of posts, right? You got one size of post right here, one size of post right here, another size right here, another size right there. Then you got chain over here. You got chain right here, right there, chain, chain holding these down here. Then you got a different size of post over there that's holding up a platform. And you got, you got th this post right here. This is different size too. So they're all different, right? And I've just found throughout the years, the higher frequencies just is really a, a good, a good general frequency to be hunting play, playgrounds. And I'm looking for small jewelry. So the higher, higher uh, frequencies are going to be hotter on the, that's those small targets. I've had my share of digging up foil in playgrounds with this coil here. I mean, big time, uh, <laughs> you know. But a lot of times when I get first get to a playground, I'll just discriminate up higher, 40 something, you know. Get out all the coins first because I some playgrounds have so much foil. I'll be just be digging out foil for hours if I discriminate low to 28 there, you know. Or if I go to pitch tones and discriminate lower, I'll just be digging out foil for the whole time and not find any coins. So I'll go over by the swings here. This playground was just loaded today. There's been a lot of people in this playground. I've been here for about five hours and just a lot of people just in and out of the playground all day long. You just never know what you're gonna find in a playground, right? You never know, man. I haven't had this playground in a while. I just had a target here, right there. 
A oh, little, little piece of foil there. And this, this detector will hit deep pieces of foil this size right here. Right. It's just amazing. The high frequency, man. I, I kind of, I really don't want to be digging that stuff out, right? I mean, pretty much I don't want to be digging that, that stuff out unless I'm really going for gold. If I, if I have cleared the playground out of all the coins and jewelry and whatnot, and I don't, I have the time. A lot of times I just don't have the time. I just want to boom, 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 get in, boom, 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 get all the coins and jewelry out. And then small jewelry, I can get it in the winter time. The small jewelry I can take my time with in the winter time But usually in the wintertime, I have I have my bigger coils on. I'm going deeper, you know. Um, the the wintertime is the time to be having big coils on and, and be using my shovel. In the summertime, I just hunt the tot lots. I just go to, you know, 10 or 15 different tot lots throughout the day in the summer. Just hit them quick, you know. Just like that. Oh, there. Something new in the playground, man. Bring it on. Penny. Right there. That one's not new, but it's been in there for a little while. Starting to corrode a little bit. You, you know I'm going for targets like this in playgrounds, right? <laughs> Screamer, a pull tab. <laughs> Especially on my merry-go-round here. So I'll just go around the merry-go-round like this here, just like so. 